may seem odd, but imagine a world where four forces act seamlessly as one. That's the power of netcentric warfare. One Navy, one Air Force, one Marines, one Army, one Force. Northrop Grumman, defining the future. From the Watergate Building in Washington, this is Hotline TV. Now, here are Hotline Editors Chuck Todd and John Mercurio. All right, it's Hotline TV. I'm John Mercurio. Chuck Todd. Thanks to Mark Foley. Republicans are having to worry more about the entire state of Florida, John. Yes. So let's take a look at some of those races most affected by the Foley scandal. Where do you want to start? All right, let's start with the least likely to be affected, and then we'll move up. We'll crescendo, if you will, down in the uh, Very nice. in the coastal area, Very right Italiano near the, uh, the Foley district. You know, I think there's a couple. There are several districts that we're talking about. The least likely to be affected, though, I think, is Rick Keller's district. You know, he was he was sort of an ally of Foley's. He was close. Democrats, Charlie Stewart, wanted to make an issue out of this. Um, you know, this is a Republican district. It's only become more Republican. Rick Keller, I think, is going to win handily. Uh, I think not handily is not the right word, but yes, I agree that he... I, I think it's the right word, actually. No. I think handily is probably the uh, exact no, right word. It's completely incorrect. Mm. He will win, but he we'll will not win that. handily. We'll see about that. He will win healthily. Mm. Um, Bastard. I know. Uh, let's move to Florida 9, where I actually think Billy Rackus. Billy Rackus is the open seat. This is uh, Phyllis Busnansky. Nice pronunciation. Thank you very much. Of this is a this is a 52 percent Bush district uh, back right. in 50 uh, in 04. So it was a it was a marginal district. Rom endorsed her early to help her raise money. Right. They've put her on all those like fringe categories, red to blue, whatever they call right, it, emerging right, right. races. Trump, I never know which Trump is which. Um, she does seem to be raising decent scratch and. Bill Arrakis, you know, sons of members... Busnansky scratch? Yeah. Sons of members of Congress have had a bad track record over the last two cycles. Connie Mack. Connie Mack, yes, but, oh, Senator, you know, sure. Billy Tozen III. Sure. Barton's kid ran and lost. Army's kid ran and lost. I mean, were, kid, kid ran, ran and lost. lost. So sure. we've seen a lot more of them run and lose of late than run and win. It's also not a great year, even though Billy Rockus, the, the congressman, Mike Billy Rockus, is not connected to any sort of scandal directly. Not right. a great year to be an incumbent, not a great a year and to Gus be And Gus is being as treated as the incumbent, incumbent and the sure. dynasty, all that stuff. Still a good I, district. I vote. think he ends up winning because, at the end of the day, but the governor's not. race is such a, you know, there's not going to be all the, all the money's on the R side that probably makes sure Republicans turn out in a district like that. Right. I, I agree. I don't think he'll win handily, for example. Or healthily. Florida 13, Catherine Harris's Boy, district. this one has this turned. This is totally interesting. Yeah. Although this has always been a little bit more competitive. I think if Democrats had had a decent candidate over the past two cycles to run against Catherine Harris, they could have They've won They've always this. threatened to target this seat, and they never really have. This yeah. time they're actually doing it because they finally have a nominee they're proud of. Christine Jennings, yeah. who's run before, but uh, but uh, hadn't Couldn't won get it. out of the primary. Couldn't get yeah. out of the primary. Now yeah. running against Vern Buchanan. They're actually friends. They're sort of... So the Sarasota business community is tight and close and bipartisan, sure. uh, and they both. Uh, they've, and they, you pointed they've out she relatively. doesn't look like a Democrat. I mean, the woman looks like a Republican. I mean, she right. you know dresses a Florida Republican, she, if you will. Right. She's got the sort of the the what was that Big woman, the Tilly Fowler look to her a little bit. Tilly Probably Fowler shops at Talbots and right. stuff like that. You know. Right. So she looks conservative. And look, it doesn't help Vern Buchanan, the Republican nominee. That Catherine Harris is such an abysmal statewide. And he's figure. not exactly. Uh, it's not all, you know, roses for him. He's got a fairly high unfave rating because he was beaten up a lot in his primary. So right. It was a tough primary. It's, this is one that's turned, and Democrats feel really confident. Well, at this point, he's ahead by, or she's ahead by, by double digits, at least. I don't buy the double polls, digits. I don't buy the double digits, but I buy that she's ahead. I think they all, they all really yeah, are very expensive. Big shock. But not very a Mark expensive Foley. Media. But interestingly, as we're talking about yeah. this in the context of Mark Foley, this not, isn't really a Mark Foley this situation. This turned without it, right. I what think she has helped be, because of the woman thing, What too. could be a Mark Foley situation is uh, the Clay Shaw uh, Ron Klein's district. Always Clint a top race. Shaw, always, always a top race. Battle tested. This guy has survived. He survived 2,000. They gave him a few more, a few more, or 1,000 Republican voters for his district. It became right. still competitive, but it be, became a little bit easier for him. Ron Klein raised more money than any Democratic challenger this year. They share a media market. They're l directly north, directly south, I'm sorry, uh, of, of, of Foley's district. They share the media market. They share the newspapers. Everybody who's watching this Foley thing on a local level uh, is, 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 is Various. voters I mean, in uh, Shaw's district. This was it was before this Foley thing, Shaw had a small but significant lead. I mean, I think both sides thought that, okay, you know, Klein is keeping this close, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, this district takes two media markets. You've got to buy both West Palm Beach and Miami to get all the voters. So right. it's a very, very expensive 
congressional district to target. And yet, all of a sudden, the Foley thing really took some steam out of Shaw. And uh, I, I think it's a 50-50 race. Although, you know, I've, I covered that, that 2000 race where he ran against Elaine Ron Bloom. Ron Klein's not Elaine Bloom, close. though. Let's, let's, Ron Klein's no Elaine Bloom. True. And this district and is now matters. based up in uh, Closer Boca Raton, Klein, Boca Raton and, and, and less in, uh, in, in Pinky on the scale of Klein. All right, there's the outlook for Florida. Mark Foley making things interesting. And that's all for today. Join us tomorrow and every day this week for more news and notes from around the country. Until then, I'm Chuck Todd. And I'm John Mercurio. We'll see you next time on Hotline TV.